Well, hello and welcome to my latest video. Probably a fairly short one today, although as you probably know, once I start going, uh, I sometimes find it difficult to stop. Uh, verbal diarrhea. Didn't have or didn't have the other sort of diarrhea this morning. Thanks for asking. Although you never know. <laughs> Who knows what the future might bring? Uh, anyway, no, no need to carry on talking about diarrhea. Uh, what we're doing today, as I'm sure you're interested in, is what is behind me on the work stand. Yes. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, it is the Brompton, and uh, I've got a couple of upgrades for the Brompton. So uh, let's get stuck in and have a look at these. Don't go away. Now the first one, uh, and I don't know if you can see clearly, but here is the seat post. All right, let me go and get the original seat post. Just uh, wandering over here in the workshop. Now here is the original seat post and uh, as you can see basically it's a steel seat post and uh, it's about it's about that long does that help not really does it if you imagine the top of my head can you see the top of my head right now if I stand up it comes down to about the level of my breastbone so uh, that's how we measure heights these days we talk about head to breastbone so that's the original seat post very nice seat post, um, fine piece of steel engineering there, I'm sure you'll agree. Uh, not quite tall enough, and if you've seen any of my Bompton videos up till now, and if not, why not? Um, you'll notice that I found the seat post, you can't see the top of my head. Can you? I haven't been scalped, in case you're wondering about that, I haven't been scalped, at least not yet. So let me crouch down a bit, how's that, is that better? Um, I forgot what I was going to say. Uh, yes, if you've seen the others of my Bompton videos, you'll know that I found the seat post a little bit short and therefore my legs were uh, not long enough on the pedals. So uh, a couple of choices, I could buy a longer seat post. So I'm going to have to stand up, otherwise it hurts my back. So you'll just have to imagine I've been scalped, but I haven't got a bad back. Um, so I could have bought a longer seat post, which I believe Brompton do, uh, or I could have bought a telescopic seat post, uh, which is what I've done. And I think that's also a Bompton item. So that's what we're going to have a look at. That clattering sound was me putting the other seat post down. So anyway, here we have the seat post. And here we have the clamp that is the original seat post clamp for the seat post. So you can see there, the old seat post is going up and down, up and down, up and down. And let's put it down again there, and we do up the clamp board a little bit tight. So what the telescopic seat post does is to add an extra seat, like a standard seat post, but within the original seat post. Okay, well, not the original seat post, but the replaced original seat post, and that's bit here. So there is another clamp here, right? And therefore you can raise this bit as well as the normal seat post, all right? So if I bring that down to there, and then open the standard seat post, that takes it up there, and that allows you to raise the saddle to a height that suits you, uh, and in my case, suits you, sir, uh, and in my case, uh, suits me, sorry, you can't see my face. Um, do, I just do struggle. See, when I'm doing these YouTube videos, it's just me, you know, I don't, there aren't teams of cameramen, you know, I know, I know Katie Kookaburra, Francis Cade, people like that, Leonard Lee, Dustin Klein, they've got teams of cameramen and, or camera women, and they've got sound recordists and boom mic operators and all kinds of things, but it's just me, just little old me in my garage trying to make entertaining videos for you lot, and if I'm not succeeding, then I do apologise, but I'm doing my best. Phew. So that's the, that's telecost, that, that's the telescopic seat post. And when I next go for a Bompton ride, not sure when that will be, um, I will report back on the success of the seat post. All right, so end of that sequence. Don't go away. Okay, welcome back. Now the second upgrade is to do with this particular area here, and these are known as wheels. Uh, that's spelt W-H-E-E-L-S, wheels. And these, uh, what happens is when you fold up the Brompton, these two wheels here at the front and the two wheels at the back of the rack, which you can't see, allow you to uh, roll the bicycle along on the wheels. They, they perform the rolling function. Now, um, one thing that I noticed when I went for my ride on the Brompton is that the right-hand wheel, which is here, because these Brompton wheels are fairly wide, uh, on occasion my foot was brushing against the wheel. So that was one particular 
particular problem. The other issue is when you watch YouTube videos about Bompton, and so far I've watched 417, so there's quite a lot on YouTube, and everybody says, well, you've got to upgrade to easy wheels. And they do go on about it, and you think, for fuck's sake, you know, there's more things in life than easy wheels, but then perhaps there isn't. So I thought, well, if everybody's doing it, then I'm going to make the 418th video about the Bompton, then I need to do an upgrade on the easy wheels. And that's what I've done. Well, I haven't done it yet, but that's what I'm about to show you. So what do we mean by easy wheels? Well, we mean uh, these larger wheels. And I don't know if you can see, if I compare these with the existing wheels, they are a little bit wider uh, in terms of, that's the, that's the width of the Brompton wheel, or diameter is perhaps more accurate. And if I hold this up against that wheel, you can see that this is about a third, perhaps a little bit more than a third, uh, bigger in terms of diameter. And in terms of width, if we talk about that being the width there, can you see that? Can you see that width there? And we then put that on the existing wheel. I don't know if you can see that. I'll put that on the existing wheel. You can't see it very clearly because my camera, uh, my camera lady is uh, not playing the game. But the Brompton wheel is probably about double the width of this replacement wheel, which is made by a company called Light Pro, uh, which was one of those uh, Chinese companies that's, uh, I'm pretty sure they're Chinese, which produce lots of stuff for uh, the Brompton, uh, accessories, upgrades, stuff like that. And what it also includes, and I bought this, bought this as a set, is here the Light Pro extender bar. And one of the things that people talk about is because these two Brompton wheels here are fixed, let me just bring the camera down a little bit so you can see that. And I'll just kind of zoom in a little bit. If you see these Brompton wheels here, these are fixed. And when you fold the camera, uh, fold, the, fold the bike, um, because the weight of the folded section is on the right hand side, it can make it a little bit unstable. So all that the extender bar does is allows you to pull part of the bar out and therefore make it longer, i.e. extended as we call it, and that improves the balance of the bike when it's on the easy wheels. So there should be an advantage in terms of the wheels and an advantage in terms of what this extender bar is called. Now I'm going to fit this and I'll fit the wheels as well. Um, and I might just do a quick, um, or, or just film it very quickly or speed it up rather. So um, you'll be seeing it in real time, but you'll be seeing it in a kind of Einsteinian sense, in a kind of relativity sense, i.e. it's gonna be happening quicker when I do it and therefore quicker than you see it, although it's not actually happening quickly in real life, it's just a, uh, the magic of the movies, as we see, as we say. So let's, let's try and do that, shall we? It's probably best if I don't talk, otherwise I sound which is maybe what I sound like anyway, but you know, maybe better. So I'm taking a, a four millimeter Allen key and you're going to say, I thought you weren't going to talk, Julian. Well, no, I just wanted to say to you, this is a four millimeter Allen key, and that's what fits this bolt here that's holding the easy wheel in. So I'm just going to undo that. So I've done that on the left-hand side, and I'm now going to do it on the right-hand side, which is this wheel here. I'm going to do this fairly quickly. Make it a little bit awkward because I can't see where the Allen key goes in. Can't find the hole, as they say. Ah, done it now. Found the hole. Okay, well that's removed both of the easy wheels from here. As you can see, using my trusty pointer, that's on the left hand side, that's on the right hand side. So I'm now going to attach the Light Pro extender bar. One thing about the Light Pro extender bar, by the way, is it doesn't come with any instructions. So you get a bag of uh, two bolts and a number of washers here, but it doesn't tell you how to fit it. And me not being very uh, imaginative, uh, went on YouTube and discovered a video that would show me how to do it. So I'm going to fit those, but again, we're going to do this fairly quickly. 
not 100% sure if I'm doing this right because the um, series of washers and bolts that the guy had in the video that I watched uh, is different from what I've got. So uh, anyway, let's carry on and see how we get on. Not 100% sure if I'm doing this right, but let's just Okay, well I've attached the Light Pro extender bar, which is here. You can see this. Not sure if it's attached with the correct combination of washers and bolts, but anyway, it's attached. So then the new replacement easy wheels will be attached in here and in here. So let's see how we get on with that particular task. All right, so I'm here is the easy wheel and I'm just screwing it in with that bolt there and does that turn all right? Well, it, yeah, it turns all right, it seems to spin all right. Does it spin as easily as it should do when I, when I tighten it up? Yeah, seems to spin okay. Oh, how about that? Um, don't, don't count your chickens just yet, Julian. Well, we'll try and we'll put the other one on now. I don't know if you can see me, so I'm tightening up the other one there, which is that tightening up. Uh, I think what you need to do so I'm just using this spanner here, park tool spanner to hold the extender bar while I tighten up this bolt and there we are it spins so let me try and show you the extender bar in action all right, so here is the right hand wheel. Can you see that? Can you see that? And I've pulled it out, I extended it, and now I've pushed it back in, I unextended it. And there is the wheel spinning. And it seems to spin fairly easily. Uh, if it doesn't spin, spin as smoothly as it should do, that's probably because I haven't got the washers in quite the right combination and sequence. But there we are. A set of easy wheels from Light Pro. Now they were relatively cheap, I've got to say that. And no, nothing wrong with uh, cheap Chinese stuff. Um, although I have seen a couple of reports that they're not necessarily as um, long lasting or durable as they could be. I have seen that you can spend quite a lot of money on easy wheels and get all kinds of colored uh, titanium wheels and aluminum wheels and all kinds of things. So uh, we'll, I'll see how I get on with these. But uh, as you know, with the Brompton, there's always, there's always room for an upgrade, always room for an upgrade, as uh, Eddie Merckx used to say. Don't upgrade, don't ride upgrades, he used to say, buy upgrades for your Brompton. And uh, that, of course, is advice that I continue to take. So there you are, two upgrades for the Brompton. The um, seat post, telescopic seat post, which you can't see, and the Light Pro Easy Wheels, which you can't see either, but you saw in the rest of the video. So just like to remind you that if you like my videos, you can like and subscribe and tell your friends. And also please remember while the Ukraine crisis continues, uh, revenue from my channel is donated to www.dec.org.uk, which is the Disasters Emergency Committee a uh, kind of global uh, uh, fund distributing humanitarian aid uh, to the people of Ukraine uh, during this uh, very terrible crisis that's continuing at the moment. So I'd like to thank you for watching this video and I uh, guess I'll see you next time. I'll try not to speed this bit up. Sometimes when I'm editing I, I get it all wrong and I speed up the bits that I shouldn't speed up but I don't speed up the bits that I should speed up. But I'll try and work on that. Anyway, bye for now. That could be, that could be a new... Um, Instead of saying 
See you next time with the old finger. The old finger, you remember the finger. I could say bye for now. Like that. Do you like that? Leave a comment down below. Which one do you prefer? Do you prefer the finger? <laughs> Lots of us prefer the finger. Or do you prefer bye for now? Anyway, bye for now.